the delight of the spectators, man's eternal conquest of the air emphasizes speed. Speed with safety, aviation turns to the aeronautical laboratories, such as the one at Wright Field, Dayton, Ohio, home of the U.S. Air Force Material Command and the heart of its testing, planning, engineering, and research. Out of the laboratory of electronics came the miracle of radar, radio direction, and range. Confusing to the layman are the patterns, but radar, basically, is an extra set of eyes and ears to an aviator. To a pilot flying in overcast or fog, the earthly scene may be invisible to the naked eye, but here, produced by radar, is a television reproduction of the terrain below. ILS, the instrument landing system, now available to civilian use. By radio beacon, a pilot's glide path is established. The radio localizer provides alignment with the airport runway, and the plane is brought in by electronic signal. The charts and the model of ILS, by which a pilot may score a three-point landing, though closed out at flying altitude. Fog, the aviator's worst hazard, is now conquered by the much-publicized GCA ground control approach. At the airport, the plane's signal is picked up by the revolving antenna in the shack or nerve center, where the team of five GCA operators will talk the plane down. Channel C, loud and clear. Over. You are approaching course nicely. Now apply left three degrees. Range of one mile. Azimuth is good. Elevation good. Very nice flying indeed. We're on the glide path and on course. Azimuth and elevation both good at one half mile. You're drifting slightly to the right. Fly left two degrees. You are 50 feet too low. Decrease your rate of descent slightly. Baker George two, this is Jonah. Prepare to land. Reduce speed. Lower undercarriage. A low, heavy fog is defeated as the plane glides safely home. The science of radar takes a bow. Nearby Ohio's right field is the all-weather flying unit at Wilmington, where aeronautical research wages an all-year contest with the elements. Where ILS, GCA, and just about every instrument developed by the Air Corps to aid in bad weather flying is tested in actual flight. Like a phantom ship, the plane, guided by its automatic pilot, rides the heavy weather, its course and destination manipulated by remote control. This is not to be confused with robot or drone flying. In the realm of aerodynamics, one of the engineering genius that produces the super speed and high efficiency in the airplane of tomorrow. It is here that science and research develop the engines to propel an airplane at supersonic speed. Key to the miracle is the jet engine, which makes possible piloted flight at speeds equal to or faster than sound. On the charts of theory, the laboratory designs the superpower plants, the ramjet engine which has revolutionized the air age. From the charts and drawings, scientific theory progresses the models. Here is the visual application of the principle involved in the ramjet engine, a principle as simple as that of your kitchen gas burner. But the ignited flame is rammed to the rear, giving tremendous forward thrust. Finally, the roar and the smoke of jet propulsion brought to life. The jet plane streaking through the sky.
The photographic camera, too, has kept pace with fast planes and higher altitude. The aerial camera attains a new scientific status in the Wright Field Laboratory. Here, a P-80 photographic flight from Dayton, Ohio to Washington, D.C., at an altitude of 42,000 feet, speeding along at more than six miles a minute. This is the art of mosaic photography, wherein cities, towns, and hamlets Lilliputian parts of a big picture puzzle. And at this lofty altitude, at this tremendous speed, the national capital's points of interest are sharply defined. Installed in a B-29 photographic plane, this great camera has a 100-inch lens, 50 times larger than the lens of an ordinary camera, an all-seeing eye of the air. With camera and crew aboard on a typical reconnaissance flight, so huge is the photographic giant that the big plane is filled the camera crew cramped for room to work. For night photography, a giant flash bulb will project enough light over an entire city to turn night into day. High above, the great flash bulb is set and the city is bathed in daylight with a million candle power. Intermittently, the light is turned on and off as the camera records in minute detail the unfolding city scene. Born of the war, the V-2 rocket was a diabolical instrument of destruction. Today, the rocket carries not a warhead, but a tail camera. And the world gets a glimpse of itself as it looks from interstellar space. Symbol of man's eternal quest in science and research is the soaring rocket pointed beyond the stratosphere toward the horizons of tomorrow. <laughs>